The big one, as nicknamed by Robert Muldoon, was the alpha female of Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. She is the main antagonist of the original Jurassic Park film. Though her name may suggest she is in fact the largest raptor in her pack, there is no evidence to support this. And evidence actually suggests her being physically identical to the other raptors in the pack. All Velociraptors, including the big one, were initially bred on Site B, aka Isla Sauna, particularly a compound owned and operated by InGen. Eight raptors were transported to Isla Nubla, the site of InGen's upcoming Jurassic Park theme resort. When the big one came in, she took over the pride and killed all but two of the other raptors. She commanded her two remaining subordinates to attack the security fence in. Muldoon claimed that in comparison to the other raptors, the big one had extremely high problem-solving intelligence. Remembering the location of certain weak spots in the fence in and where feeders would come to feed the animals as stated. As a result, the raptors had to be transported into a special holding pen to be fed by an automated feeding system to make sure they stayed in. While being transported to the holding pen it was theorized that she attacked and killed an InGen employee. This prompted the workers family to file a lawsuit against the company which you actually see in the beginning scenes of Jurassic Park which actually leads Hammond to bring in Dr. Grant, Ian Malcolm and Ellie Sattler to the park. Additionally, Robert Muldoon expressed concern that the Velociraptors would eventually escape due to their intelligence levels. When the electricity power was cut by Dennis Nedry during the Isla Nubla incident, Nedry's computer confirmed that the raptor pen was still active, as Nedry knew full well how much of a threat the raptors were. Later, when the staff decided to reboot the power to purge of what Nedry had done, it advertently shut down the fences in the raptor's holding pen as well. This was unknown to everyone else in the park. The three raptors realized they had an opportunity and broke out of confinement, as Muldoon was afraid they could. He and Ellie realized that the Velociraptors escaped when they went to reboot the power and realized they were in some serious danger. This is then where the raptors kill and eat both Ray Arnold and Romert Muldoon. After killing Muldoon, the big one and her subordinates made their way to the visitor center where they stalked Lex and Tim. The big one displayed her intelligence here by successfully opening the door to the kitchen where the two children had taken refuge and seemingly to take her time stalking the kids purely for the fun of it. The big one underestimated the kids, however, with them managing to escape and run into Sattler and Grant. The group then heads for the control room. The big one attempted to enter the room, but Lex successfully activated the door locks, forcing the alpha female to break through the window, though the group manages to escape through the events. Though it is difficult to read the personality of a dinosaur, given Muldoon's concern about her more than the rest of the raptors, it's apparent that the raptor is extremely intelligent, while the other raptors of her tribe simply have a bad temper to towards one another. In spite of having a tense relationship with her subordinates, she did seem to care about them and she become purely infuriated upon seeing one of them killed. However, this may be due to inherent pack mentality. She's actually responsible for giving Rexy her scars in the original Jurassic Park movie. It has been speculated that she was in fact a completely misunderstood character and that it is entirely possible the reason she had killed five of her followers, which was because the remaining two she had spared had become males, which is a key plot in the film as well. She wanted exclusive breeding rights as the alpha female. It is also entirely possible that the nest Grant finds in the raptor's old paddock was actually hers and that her behaviour throughout the film was simply the result of her both trying to get back her eggs and defend them from any threats, again completely misunderstood. The exact date at which the big one or the raptors who became her subordinates when they were hatched is actually unknown. They had the genome in the early 1990s and it's said that they were cloned from late 1991. So by 1993 they were fully grown and had been moved over to Isla Nublar. The big one was also responsible for ambushing Dr. Ellie Sattler in the maintenance shed where Ellie almost lost her life to the big one's ambush and that the raptor which killed Mold Doom was actually Randy and Kim. The big one, also never having seen another dinosaur before, sees the Tyrannosaurus Rex and was not intimidated. Instead, she was enraged by the death of her comrade and leapt into the larger theropod's side and attacked, slashing and biting into the predator's flanks. The big one continued her attack, clawing up the Tyrannosaurus neck and shoulders, but was shaken from her perch into biting range. This again is how Rexy actually got her scars. The Tyrannosaur managed to grab her crunching bones and organs alike with her powerful jaws. The big one then died from multiple devastating internal injuries and her corpse was thrown into the fossil display. Out of the actual big one pack, the last raptor to die was actually
actually Randy, who would have been subject to the freezer's cold temperature after the door was shut and held in the frigid air inside. If the temperature was not enough to kill her or the power failed and the freezer turned off, she would have slowly freeze and starved to death, an agonizing death from starvation and dehydration. Meanwhile, efforts to revitalize Jurassic Park nine years later did not end up including the visitor center, so the walk-in freezer was never actually opened again. It remained with Randy's body still inside. At the moment, no living descendants of any of these three raptors are confirmed. While the eggs did hatch on June the 12th, a cleanup operation one year after the incident was discovered, the carcass of baby raptors on the island, suggesting that none of the juveniles could survive without the parental care. InGen continued to work with the Velociraptor for decades to come after the dismissal failure, but the newer raptors are of a different genetic stock. Members of the lineage that included the big one have not been seen since 2004. Her line and those of her relatives from Isla Sauna may be extinct. Go and check out all my other dinosaur stories, there's plenty on the channel and I'd like to thank my Patreons and YouTube members as always. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now, bye bye.